welcome to my channel. Hello kids! I'm your teacher Zell. Welcome to science class. Quarter 2, week 2, day 2. Science process skills. Our learning objective, at the end of the lesson, you will be able to compare natural objects like leaves based on their measured length and width using a table. Let's start with this activity estimation test. Are you ready kids? three leaves. Which leaf is the longest? Which is the widest? Good job kids! Yay! Now, let us find out if our guesses are correctly by learning how to measure leaves accurately. Earlier, we made guesses about which leaf was the longest and widest. But did you know that sometimes what looks longer may not actually be the longest? We have here two leaves. Look closely. Which one do you think is longer? Are you sure? Possible answer? I think leaf A is longer because it looks bigger, but I'm not sure. If two leaves look almost the same, how can we tell their actual size? We can measure them with a ruler. Good job, kids! Today, you will investigate how to compare the length and width of leaves accurately using a ruler. Using flashcards and context clues, in our previous lesson, we practiced using context clues to understand new words. Today, we will continue applying these skills to help us understand scientific terms related to measuring objects such as leaves. This is the first word, narrow. The leaf is narrow, measuring only 2 cm wide. The underlined word is narrow. This is an example of a narrow leaf. Two, narrowest. Among these leaves, this leaf is the narrowest at 1.5 centimeters. Three, the widest. The widest tree in the school serve as a home to several birds. This is the widest among the three. What is the meaning of the underlined word narrow? Especially of something that is considered longer or higher than it is wide, a small width. Example sentence, he made his way down the narrow road. Like what you see in the picture. Narrowest. So 
superlative adjective, especially of something that is considered of longer or higher than it is quite small width. Widest, of great or more than average width, like this. A wide road. Now, let's do the activity 2. Lip detective which lip is longer and wider. Let me explain the activity sheet. Materials needed for this. Per learner, you need notebook, fresh leaf, drawing materials, example pencil, crayons. Per group, you need ruler and marker. You only have 20 minutes to do the activity. What to do? Part A. 1. Take out your leaf and pencil and place rather it on your table. 2. Put all the leaves together in the middle of your group. 3. Use marker to label each leaf from 1 to 5. 4. Draw each leaf in the space provided in your data table. Data table leaf from 1 to 5. In the second column, you're going to draw the leaf. Third column, what is the length in centimeters? Using your ruler, what is the width in centimeters? 5. Use the ruler to measure each leaf's length in centimeters. 6. Write your answers in your data table. 7. This time, get the width of each leaf in centimeters. 8. Record your answers in your data table. Part B. Refer to your data table. Question 1. Arrange the leaves from shortest to longest. Write the number in order. Example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Question 2. Which leaf is the longest? Question 3. Arrange the leaves from narrowest to widest. Write the numbers in order. Example 2, 4, 3, 1, 5. Question 4. Which leaf is the widest? Now, perform the activity 2. Leaf detective which leaf is longer and wider. Leaf Detectives Measuring Challenge We have these materials Per learner, you need notebook Per group, you need one ruler, one meter stick, one tape measure Per class, 1 to, five to 10 fresh leaves from different plants that are readily available in your community posted around the walls of the classroom Note, when possible, include a banana leaf. Scenario to the learners, imagine that you are detectives. You must identify two leaves. One leaf must be the longest among all others, and the other leaf must be the widest. To succeed in this investigation, you must accurately measure the length and width of the leaves. Bear share. Why do we need to measure length and width of leaves? Possible answer We need ruler or any measuring tool used to measure the length and width depending on the size of the leaf. Good job, kids! Next question Why, What do we learn when we measure leaves?
possible answer, we learn how long and wide a leaf is. Good job, kids! Where else do we use measuring scales? When checking our height, we measure to see how much we have grown. Good job, kids! How can measuring help us compare different leaves? Possible answer, it helps us find patterns in leaf sizes, such as small leaves on plant in one plant and big leaves on another. Very good! Now let's proceed to the evaluation. We're going to choose the letter of the correct answer. For item number 1 to 3, look at the picture of leaves A, B, and C below. Then compare these leaves in terms of their width measurements. Number 1. Which statement is true about leaf A? A. It is narrowest. B. It is widest. B. C. It is wider than leaf C. Number 2. Which of the following best describes leaf C? A. It is the widest. B. It is the longest. C. It is the smoothest. Number 3. Which of the following statement is correct? A. Leaf A is wider than leaf B. B. Leaf B is wider than leaf C. C. Leaf C is wider than leaf A. Compare the two leaves below. Which of the following best describe the two leaves? A. Leaf X is wider than leaf Y. B. Leaf X is longer than leaf Y. C. Leaf Y is longer than leaf X. What do you measure when you want to compare the size of leaves? shape, B, color and texture, C, length and width. Let's check now kids. For number 1, it's letter A, 2A, 3C, 4B, 5C. How many of you got the perfect score? Very good kids! Thank you for listening.